Hi, and welcome to Principles of Engineering. Um, I'm Ms. Sparks, and I'm going to help you today on just how to take a file from either OnShape or Fusion, kind of the same process. I'm going to be using OnShape today, and how to make it into an STL file, and then use it into your Dremel account. So first thing you're going to want to do, though, is you are going to need to go to printcloud.dremel.com and create an account there. This is going to allow you to transfer a file that you've created in OnShape. And as you can see, I did one already, is to um, be able to move it into the Dremel file. So you can kind of see it's the same, same product there. Take it from OnShape, put it into Dremel so that we can actually print it. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, you're going to actually, my, my computer is connected to um, the printers, but I'm going to show you how to put it on your file onto a flash drive, and you'll be able to uh, print right there from um, the classroom, which will be an amazing experience. So, um, first thing is you'll have to have some kind of product. Uh, we'll be working with this quite a bit, so I just made something really, really, really simple here. Um, nothing much to it, just just a simple little part. Um, so, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to parts here. And if you right click on it, um, it allows you to bring up um, several different commands. And we're looking for the export command. So you're gonna click on export. And it brings you up to a couple of different things. Um, you might wanna save your file. Um, I think I had mine as a sample part. I'm just gonna name it Sparks um, part. Um, and the biggest thing is that we need to make sure that it's in this STL file. And I use it quite a bit, so it kind of pops up. And as you can see, there's all different types of files. Sometimes um, with uh, different types of prints, we might be using the OBJ file, um, but or sometimes even a STEP file. Those seem to be the big ones that uh, I've used quite a bit. But for our Dremel uh, printers, us to convert it into an STL file. So you're going to make sure you click there and then um, you, you've got your units of measurements. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine as inches and then Dremel actually lets you kind of reconnect and move some things around too. So once you've got that kind of filed away, the biggest thing is making sure you've got it into the STL file. You're going to hit export and you're going to see it pop up into our downloads right here. Um, I, I have another program logged into my computer as well. So if you're not seeing it with this M on it, it's just because I have another um, 3D printer that I'm using. But hopefully it will show you that you have a, a file that you can download. Um, and so it's, it's still all the same thing. So hopefully it'll say your name and then as it as an STL file. So you can delete it, you can leave it right there. And then you're gonna click into uh, your Dremel account and close all this out here. And it might take you, I don't know, maybe to a page like this, um, whatever the main page is. But uh, when you get in there, you're gonna click upload new file and you're gonna say choose file that you want. And as you can see, it, it kind of logs you right in there. You want to make sure you're underneath your downloads. And then here's here's my one that I downloaded just a few minutes ago, the Nicole or Sparks part. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hit OK. And as you can see, it pops it right in there for you. Um, and it says successfully uploaded. So now we have it in the Dremel format or the Dremel um, program, but there's a couple of things that we still need to do with that. So you're going to go ahead and hit save and go to my files. And it's going to pop it up and there. There's our file here. Um, a couple of different things. We can see that it, it, it wants us to edit it. Um, it's in the STL file, which is great. But when we see this and you can see it's step one, step two, step three. So we have to go through three different steps in order to make sure that it, it will be fully successful to be able to print. So the first one is, is you're going to hit repair and it's just going to bring this up and it's just saying we want to make sure that it is going to be in the best format possible for our Dremel printer. And so you're going to hit fix. Um, you will want to make sure that we have 3D40 um, ones in our classroom. So make sure that you click on that and you hit fix. And it goes pretty quickly. It's just going to change the file. Um, we'll see that the name changes here in a few minutes. 
Uh, once it's done, it'll say close. So here's our original file. And now here's our repaired STL file. So not completely finished yes, yet. We want to we wanna see the layout of it. Um, and so I'm going to hit step two, which is layout. It brings up the print bed. So I'm going to scroll out. And you're going to see it real quick. It transferred it super tiny. Whoops very very tiny so like sorry i keep hitting the wrong thing um so think this is the print bed of our 3d printer so like this would be like looking in the window um, and seeing inside and then obviously we have the clear tops and we can kind of see down so it's made it really really small and we don't want that so oops i clicked on it so we just have to edit a couple of things um so the first thing i always like to do is let's let's make it let's change the scale of it just a little bit so um as you can see there's a couple of different options millimeters to inches inches and millimeters it must for whatever reason brought it in um, as millimeters so i'm just going to click on inches sometimes that works really well um, this is probably bigger than I need, but I'm going to leave it just so that you can see it. You can always mess with the scale here. Um, obviously, uh, I'd like to see approval before you, I don't want you printing something too, too terribly big. So we'll kind of talk about that scale a little bit more, but just for this reference here. Um, as you can see though, when I, when I made it larger, it's not perfectly on the bed. Um, we can see that like, you no, know, it would print like down below which that obviously isn't physically possible so um, we have to change a couple things so you're going to hit on the bed and as you can see it shifts it right up and then you can even like move it and rotate it if you want if you want to like move it over here we can we can click on our oops click on our move it over here move it there on the x or the y axis you can move it up and down uh, once again just i always just always hit on bed on bed on bed to make sure so let's say that i'm happy with this uh, once again i'm going to go back to scale look at it this way and yeah I'm, I'm happy with it so uh what you'll do next is hit save and slice and as you can see it's going to bring a couple other things up um go ahead and normally leave it as is there are going to be some times if you're building something that's like really tall and thin we'll have to put rafters on it and that's this isn't the case this is a pretty simple design but rafters we might have to do that at some point so you might need to ask me sometimes like hey do you think rafters would be a good uh, option for this and i might say yeah absolutely um and i'll explain why so anyway though once you get to this point you can hit slice and a couple different things happen for us here and this one sometimes takes a few minutes this is this is our ticket here we are looking for that file as you can see like this was our original file we repaired it in step one we changed it moved it to the correct way in step two and this is our step three right here and this is what we're looking for we wanted to say g3 drem that means that it's taken our stl file and moved it into something completely compatible with um, our Dremel printers. Now for the next part, what you're gonna do is that we need to download this file onto a flash drive so that you can take it over to um, the printer to actually print. So you're gonna click on this file and you should see it pop up. Oops, this right there and then i don't have a flash drive right now but what you would do is um you would go to my computer let's see if i can pull that up for us here uh, go to the windows button uh, no, no, no. there's probably a thousand different ways to get there i'm trying to think this might type in oh actually you could just go here duh um, and that's going to bring you up to a couple of different things and you're going to be looking for your uh, flash drive down here it's normally somewhere right in this area and you're going to pull over your file into that flash drive and that way it will save onto the flash drive so you can pull it right into the dremel account um, and so um, once you've got that done you just need to make sure you ask um, and uh, if you're wanting to changing the filament and all that it's best just to always ask beforehand. I'm always willing to have and happy to share, but uh, that's kind of the gist of how to print uh, from on shape to Dremel to getting an actual tangible object. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.